I'm joined here today by Carla Neugebauer, who became an EMBO member in 2011 and who works at the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden. Could you maybe give us a little overview of your current research interests? I'm interested in RNA biology and uh, basically think that RNAs play many active roles inside of cells, many of which maybe we don't even know about. Um, they're concentrated in particular places in the cell and that has an interesting consequence for not only cellular organization but gene expression, for example. Mm -hmm. And um, at the same time, I'm really interested in how um, RNA processing events influence transcription and chromatin. So what are the challenges in your field that you're facing? We now find ourselves in a post-genomic age where um, many RNAs in many different types of cells and organisms are being sequenced and there's a sort of a deluge of information about RNA species um, that are expressed and I think we're going to really need to sort out what, what all of this means um, inside of cells. We're going to have to go through a kind of descriptive phase where we describe the types of RNAs uh, that are expressed mm -hmm. in cells but then we're going to have to go back and develop either genetic or cell biological um, tools for understanding what the function of producing all of these fabulous uh, RNAs is. And so that's going to be a really challenging period. I'm looking forward to the next five years to see what happens. Is this also the reason why you're looking or while you're, why you're working in so many different species? Because they all have different advantages, maybe different disadvantages? That's exactly right. Just to give two um, extreme examples, we work in budding yeast because they have very simple gene architectures. They only, mm -hmm. uh, intron containing genes only have one intron. And so it's relatively easy for us to develop assays to understand real basics of transcription and splicing. On the other hand, we work in zebrafish embryos because we um, find it fascinating to look at that period when the embryo um, changes from relying on maternal transcripts mm -hmm. to zygotic transcripts. And in this period, um, genes have to be transcribed within 15 minutes. And uh, we think this is an opportunity to discover new things mm -hmm. about RNA um, activities. Mm -hmm.